knowing that I was gay my whole life. There are lots of things I really enjoy and love about being a Filipina and the Philippine culture. But coming out as a lesbian, I think, is very challenging when there is really only one way to be in that narrative. In high school, I was in the drama club, and we were um, very like would have long talks and talk about like probably everyone is a little bit bisexual. Ultimately, I think I had to come out because I couldn't stand it. I feel like I just couldn't be a whole person. I think I had a, a sense that Sean might be gay, but um, I wasn't gonna ask him about that kind of thing. It's like you ignored the fact that I was you know, gay or was straight. Like, you didn't want to take the time to even get to know if I was or not. I was kind of waiting to see if you wanted to tell me and you were kind yeah. of waiting for me to ask yeah. you. So obviously we never, <laughs> we never talked about it. Yeah. I s decided to come out to my family first um, in high school. It's the first time I heard how my mom felt um, since I came out. I can only imagine how hard it was for my mom. Being in the uh, Korean Catholic community is a small community. Um, it's probably, probably why I stopped going to um, church was because I thought, you know, if I'm not there, then people will ask about us. If my parents didn't accept me, I may not have been uh, the best person that I want to be and that I hope to become. Being able to live in this house and, you know, get the, the, the Korean food that my mom makes and the love that she gives me. Uh, what I love about my mom is that she has the most solid foundation around how she wants to live her life and our family's life. It's what moves me and inspires me, and keeps me happy and centered. The process for my mom, I think, was challenging because me being a lesbian contradicted her cultural values. And then also, um, you know, she's a devout Catholic. She just asked, why would you choose something that would make life harder? When she said that, I realized her reaction had less to do with me being a lesbian as it was about her general worry and concerns as a parent. I'm not out to my parents. I'm not out to my mom or my dad. And, you know, in some ways, I think it's almost typical in um, South Asian families. It's like it's hard to come out as straight, let alone as queer. It didn't feel that hard until um, I got into a really serious relationship. Now, it does feel hard not to take my partner home. I feel like I could tell my mom, but probably um, not while my dad's still alive. And um, because he is older, I don't know how long I have him, and so I just sort of need to keep my relationship with him as it is right now. Uh, growing up, I would have liked to have he heard Kevin talking maybe more about um, issues that were strong to him, like equal rights or um, LGBT rights. I really didn't know. 
it made me realize then and there that uh, it, it's not good enough to be supportive of these things in general or uh, supportive of, of people in general. We tend to think that the absence of hostility or the absence of, of negativity is support and positivity, but that's not true. That's, that's nothing, that's neutral. Which, as Sean has helped me realize, uh, we, you know, straight folk need to take the responsibility to show that we're supportive so that they can, so that um, gay people, transgender people can feel like they can come out and, and know that they're going to be supported by us and welcomed. To the families out there, I would say, I think the most important thing is sticking by each other and not, and not letting go, um, especially when it's the hardest. 그 다음에는 그 아이들을 받아들여 주셔야 된다는 거. 그 그거를 하지 않을 때그 아이들한테 죽음밖에 없습니다. 죽음이라는 것이 말 그대로의 죽음. 정말 그 아이들은 갈 때도 없고 받아들여 줄 때도 없고 그 아이들이 살수 없습니다. 그래서 정말 그 아이들을 사랑으로 받아들여 주시기를 정말 가족이 가장 중요하다고 생각합니다. 그래서 가족들이 그 아이들을 품어 주지 않으면 what I would say to straight siblings, just know that nothing has really changed. This is the same person who you've always known and you've always loved. Having kids certainly makes you very aware of the bigger picture. Family is important, and that's a it's a strong cultural value. And I think really now that I can look back, I see that that value trumped all the other values about who I was supposed to be. Um, and that the, my mom's belief and love of family really is what I think eventually kind of dismantled whatever stereotypes or homophobia that she had. Everyone should have that. Everyone should have that level of people who love you forever no matter what.